Hello, so I'm going to read a couple of paragraphs from Milan Kundera's book, Immortality. What I'm reading is from a part of the book called Chance, it's part five, and in that part five it is chapter three. It begins with a, a line from Rambo, the poet. For eight days I had been scraping my shoes on the stones of the roads, writes Rambo. Road. A strip of ground over which one walks. A route differs from a road, not only because it is solely intended for vehicles, but also because it is merely a line that connects one point with another. So a route, you can think about a route like a highway, something that is designed to connect two points. That, that function of connecting is different from being on a road, being on a path, on a trail. A route has no meaning in itself. Its meaning derives entirely from two points that it connects. A road is a tribute to space. So by contrast, a road is like a tribute to space. Every stretch of road has meaning in itself and invites us to stop. A route is a triumphant devaluation of space. It's a reduction of value. The space doesn't have value in itself. And once we put a road between two points, we are uh, triumphantly, we, 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 are, we are victorious over this, the distance between those two points. So we win. The distance loses, we win because we have created a very efficient route. So one more time. A route is a triumphant devaluation of space, which thanks to it has been reduced to a mere obstacle to human movement and a waste of time. Before roads and paths disappeared from the landscape, they had disappeared from the human soul. Man stopped wanting to walk, to walk on his own feet and to enjoy it. I'm reminded of uh, that book called uh, The Care of the Soul by Thomas More, contemporary Thomas More. In that book, uh, Thomas More, the psychologist and psychotherapist, talks about how uh, humans, we, have, uh, we, are, we have learned to place so much emphasis on function and work and getting th things done. And we have separated the dimension of enjoyment from function. We talk about, uh, even if we talk about walking or uh, eating or getting something done, we don't think about them. We are not ready to think about them. We will naturally think about them as enjoying. Enjoying walking or enjoying sitting somewhere, enjoying uh, reading, preparing food. What's more, he no longer saw his own life as a road, but as a route. A line that led from one point to another, from the rank of captain to the rank of general, from the role of wife to the role of widow. So these are all points that, are, get, that get connected using routes. Time became a mere obstacle to life, an obstacle that had to be overcome by ever greater speed. So this is connects to the themes that he writes about in another novel uh, that I showed in the previous video, Slowness. Road and route, these are also two different conceptions of beauty. Wow, I, I love it. Uh, so the, the, rest, the, the rest, I'm gonna read one more sentence, but it's, uh, this is where Kundera is telling a story, but this story involves characters, things that happen to characters, things that characters do. The narrator is also a character uh, in, in the story. And uh, occasionally and very frequently, he takes a break from uh, that storytelling and instead just gets into the realm of ideas and philosophy. And it's so, so enjoyable because he does both of those two sides of his tasks so well. He's such a great storyteller but he's also such a great philosopher. But those two things are not alien to each other. They merge and they're like a dance between those two tasks, those two sides of his writing. Uh, and they are two sides of the same thing that he's doing, writing. Road and route. These are also two different conceptions of beauty. When Paul says that at a particular place, the landscape is beautiful, that means if you stopped the car at that place, you might see a beautiful 15th century castle surrounded by park surrounded by a park, or a lake reaching far into the distance, with swans floating on its brilliant surface. In the world of routes, a beautiful landscape means an island of beauty connected by a long line with other islands of beauty. 
In the world of roads and paths, beauty is continuous and constantly changing. It tells us at every step, stop. Also, if you think, if you read uh, Bergsonism by Deleuze, which was my, my own introduction to uh, Henri Bergson's philosophy, Bergson's discussion of time and duration is very sympathetic to the attitude that uh, Milan Kundera is developing in this and other books. I just thought I'd I share these uh, few paragraphs with you. Road and route, path and highway. Okay, thank you.